Hello to all good people of the world. Paul Whittakin returning to you with the Universal Law of Numbers. And let me see if I can get that straightened out a little bit. All right, I'm not so good about that. You know that. But uh, anyway, uh, returning to you with the Universal Law of Numbers, Paul Whittakin, and continuing on with my preposterous, preposterous, preposterous theories. And I just have to disagree with you because I don't think there's anything preposterous about the universe at all. I think it's uh, it's the closest thing we have to the truth that uh, you know we could uh, possibly encounter. But so my preposterous theory and everything I talk about is based on this very simple schematic, and this is why all of the numbers work. And what I just want to point out today is, you know, there is order in the chaos. It's, it's pretty difficult to, to make, to understand the order, but I'll just kind of go over some of the things. Now, there's a very important thing to understand. Uh, you know, these numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, well, as I demonstrate, they change. Now, if I say 2 times 2 is 4, well, let's use another example, 2 times... Uh, uh, 6 is 12. Well, 2 times 6 is, is certainly 12, but it's also a 3. And it will behave like a 3. And any number that reduces to a 3 will behave like a 3. Any number that reduces to any one of these numbers will always behave just like that number. And that's why I point that out. Because 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27, times 3 is 81, times 3 is uh, 243, etc. Uh, it's the law of the universe. Now, I do some of this uh, mathematics, you know, maybe some of you like it, maybe some of you don't. I'm sure some of you uh, think it's not uh, appropriate or conventional, but I just try and point out, okay, so if 2 times 4 is 8, well, 11 is a 2, and 22 is a, a, a 4, so 11 times 22 equals 242, and I do agree, and it's an 8. And I know that 5 times 6 is 30, but I also know that it's a 3. It's, for instance, if we take a number like 221, that reduces to 5, and the number 33, that reduces to 6. So 221 times 33 has to reduce to a 3, 2, because it is. It is a 3. Just using another uh, simple example, 3 times 7 is 21, well, that's a 3, 2. So if I take any number that reduces to 3, and I multiply it by any number that reduces to 7, that will become a 3 as well. So what we just do is, you know, I'll take these numbers, or whatever. Okay, so if I have a 48, and a 48 is a 3, and I multiply it by any of the numbers that are a 7, well, 3 times 7 is 21, and it will be a 3, 2. And that's, that's the whole point of it. Now, some of you think, uh, you know, I say 3 times 7 is 21, but I also say it's a 3, because what I'm measuring is I'm measuring the quantum units of the universe. I'm measuring the universal units. I'm not adding up Charles Icahn's money, and the universe doesn't care about that. The universe has a very, very ordered structure, and the ordered structure that the universe has is the one that's found in the Universal Law of Numbers Periodic Table of Mathematics. So, just to look at the thing, uh, you know, 1 times 7 is 7, 1 times 4 is 4, 7 times 7 is 4, uh, 4 times 7 is 1, 7 times 9 is 63 is 9, uh, 4 times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, times 2 is 32, times 2 is 64, times 2 is 128. 1 times 8 is 8, 8 times 1 is 1, 1 times 7 is 7, 4 times 7 is 28 is 1, uh, 5 times 2 is 1, 7 times 2 is 5, because 14 is a 5, 4 times 8 is 5, because 32 is a 5, and so on and so forth. So, you know, I'm just trying to point that very basic fact out. The universe 
has a structure, and the universe gives us the universal law of numbers. They're the only numbers that we have, and they behave in a very, very specific way. They obey the laws of the universe. So today, that's all I really wanted to cover, uh, and I hope that uh, provides a little bit of insight into uh, my preposterous theory, and I hope you liked it, and if you didn't, uh, well, I guess that's okay, too, but uh, anyway, I'm just trying to help here, folks. Okay, happy day, peace to the world. As far as preposterous theories now, we're expected to believe a lot of preposterous theories that are going on out there in the world, you know, the box cutter and the caveman and the yellow cake and the Taliban and the blah, 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 and peace in the Middle East, okay? So, uh, believe what you want, but you also have the opportunity to believe the truth. And that's what the universe gives us, and I'm checking out. My name is Paul Whittakind.